Hello and welcome back to Mate's Tottenham blog. Uh, today I'm going to be giving my prediction for the lineup in the Champions League final tomorrow against Liverpool. Uh, before I get started, if you could like the video, put down in the comments below what you think the lineup is going to be, and also subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you know whenever I upload. Thank you. So to begin, um, I've gone with a 4-1-4-1 formation for this game. Um, I know it's a bit different to what we usually play, and not, I can't really remember us having played it before, but I'm, I'm going to explain why I've gone for that in a minute. Uh, the 11 I've gone for is Hugo Lloris in goal, um, a back four of Kieran Trippier, Toby Alderweireld, Jan Vertonghen and Danny Rose. I'm going to have Sissoko, just kind of sitting behind the midfield. Then the midfield four of Hoing Min Son, Harry Winks, Deli Alli and Christian Eriksen. And then up front, Harry Kane. So I think having Hugo Lloris in goal, is, it's a bit of a no-brainer. I know he's been a bit inconsistent the last couple of seasons. But um, no, he's our number one choice. He's the obviously the club captain. And he's a World Cup winner less than a year ago. So I think having his experience in the team and his qualities, you know, it's it's an easy choice to make, really. Um, right back, Kieran Trippier. As I've said before, disappointing season from him. But for this game, I think he's kind of the the best choice of a relatively poor selection, if you look at what's happened in recent months. Um, Aurier has missed a lot of games. He's been out injured and he's had some family issues that he hasn't been able to uh, play because of. And uh, Juan Foyt, again, just inexperienced in that role. And Kyle Walker-Peters, I don't think he's played enough this season to really be considered for this one. So, uh, Kieran Trippier, it's going to be a really tough game for him. He struggled uh, at Anfield when we were playing Liverpool against Sadio Mane. Uh, Mane just way too quick for him and Trippier just couldn't deal with him, to be honest. He got a lot of help in that game from Musa Suzoko, but I think in this one it's going to be a case where he's going to need whoever's playing on, on the right, at right mid position at that time to come back and help him you're going to have Andy Robertson pushing on that side as well. Um, it's going to be a tough game for Trippier. And the same on the other side with Danny Rose uh, dealing with Mohamed Salah and then Trent Alexander-Arnold. He's going to need whoever's on the left, be it Son or Eriksen, uh, to help out a lot there. Um, in centre-back, we've gone for Oliver Weirald and Vertonghen. Um, again, this one seems like a bit of an easy choice. You know, the, the our Belgian duo, the, the partnership that really helped us in the last couple of seasons. I think if the game goes to plan... And, you know, kind of we're on top. This will be the best kind of uh, partnership for us to have back there. But if it's a case where Liverpool get an early goal and, you know, we have to kind of go and chase the game, I think we'd be missing the pace of Davins and Sanchez back there. Because if we're pushing on, Liverpool are going to have a lot of counter-attacks. And we know that's where they play really, really well. So, Sanchez might be a miss if he doesn't start, if Liverpool do get an early goal. But I think if we can keep Liverpool out for the first 15, 20 minutes and then make it a, a competitive game, I think Oliver Oil and Bertangen definitely our best choice back there. Uh, Danny Rose on left, again, he's he's just better than Davis lately this season and he has a lot more pace to deal with the likes of Salah. Um, and played a big part, of course, in that Ajax comeback. He helped set up that first goal. So I think he'll be our best choice there. Now, the one behind the midfield, I've gone for Musa Sissoko. Um, the reason I've done this is because Liverpool a lot this season uh, they played a 4-3-3 formation but instead of Firmino being an out and out striker he's kind of playing in the false nine position where he's kind of dropped behind Salah and Mane and he's been kind of setting up the assists for goals rather than getting the assists himself and that's been a major major part of Klopp's style at Liverpool so I think if we can get Sissoko just sit in front of the defence and kind of patrol that area area where Firmino thrives um, it could help nullify the threat that he poses because similar to what Ali does, he makes those late runs into the box and he scored his, the first goal at Anfield against us a couple of months ago. I uh, made that late run into the box, a brilliant cross from Robertson and he headed it home. Um, I think that could be a crucial part of uh, keeping Liverpool out and keeping their threat at a minimum if Suzoku is able to just stick with Firmino, kind of a man-marking job and keep him as quiet as possible. Uh, on the wings, I've gone for Hoing Min Son and Christian Eriksen. That's because kind of playing that four across midfield, there's not much else you could really do. I mean, if you want to put Eriksen on the bench and play Lucas Mora, we kind of lose that creative spark up there. Um, so I think they're going to have a lot to do in terms of tracking back because with Robertson and Alexander-Arnold, whether they're being tracked back or not, like if they have to leave wingers unmarked higher up the pitch, they'll do that because that's just, it's the way Liverpool play. So they're going to have a really, really tough game getting back and going forward. But it, it'll be crucial to us keeping Liverpool out that we have... The extra men back there keeping keeping Liverpool quiet out in the wings. Um, the midfield two of gone for Deli Alley and Harry Winks. Now when we're defending, I think that's going that should be a kind of flat four with Eriksen, Son, and then of course Ali and Winks in, in the middle of them. But when we're attacking, 
if it changes to a bit of a diamond formation, maybe have Winks sitting in beside Suzuko, or maybe one of them pushing on a bit further. But we, we're going to need Deli Alley making those late runs into the box. Because when it, like the big games that we played, especially Chelsea a couple of years ago at White Hart Lane, when the league they the season they won the league, Ali's late runs into the box scored the two goals that won us the game. Um, and he's just that's that's where he is best. Um, if we can get Kane maybe on Matip and or maybe in the space in between the two centre backs, or dragging them away and making that space for Ali running in behind uh, Ericsson and Son in the wings putting balls into the box, you know that's what they're good at. Uh, it could be a, a space where we could really exploit Liverpool and you know hopefully get a couple of goals like that um, I've gone for Harry Kane up front um, it, it, it does seem a bit unfair to leave Lucas Moore out after what he did in the, the semi-final against Ajax of course but Harry Kane when he's 100% fit which he said he is he just get he gets goals all the time and I mean he's, he's our best player when 100% fit and you're just looking purely at quality he is without a doubt our best player and it's a Champions League final, like you can't really leave him out. But having said that, I still think Lucas will have a really big part to play. Um, you now coming off the bench later on in the game when Liverpool legs are starting to tire, he could have a massive, massive impact and maybe score another couple of late goals um, if he does get on the pitch. As always, thanks very much for watching and please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel.